war never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Hun. Hmm, just getting ready. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Thanks, Cosworth. Of course, sir. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Hmm. More of the same. Ah, oh, sounds like someone made a stinky. 
I shall attend to young Sean. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Sugar bombs, 100% daily value of sugar. <laughs> How can someone so small drink so much? Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Good morning, vault calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information, that's all. Sure, let's do it. Splendid! Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Nate, Sean has been changed but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. You heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. How's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do. Oh, we no. do have. We do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Oh my God. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. The nukes are coming. Come to the faster. Shh. Keep it on. All participants. It's okay. 
Okay. Who cares? Just help me pack it up. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered. All vault participants, check in at the gate. That's absurd. I am Not on the list. Tech. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop Sir. me. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm reporting We're not this. In the vault program. We need to get in. Oh We're on the list. Die. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. You two, if follow God me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? We're everything we can. Now this keep way. moving. Step on the platform! In the center! All right, that's it. Send it down. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! <gasps> Hold on! We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. Huh? I can't believe it's it. It's gonna be okay, right? We left a minute later. No, We'd no. All be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Just this way, please. Vault Tech is here yes. for you. All new residents. This way, please. Please proceed in an orderly fashion. Step over Mail. to the table. Take Welcome a seat. home. Just this uh, way. Man, excuse me. Hello there. Okay. Once we seal the vault, right we'll over all be getting Here to know are. each other a lot Head more, I'm sure. There. Female. Levels are good. Female and infant. Excuse me. Oh. Oh my god. Right over there, please. Over there. Take a seat. You'll need your suits Looks before fine. we can take you further. Take a vault suit, then head... Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My Sir? mother and father down in D.C. Oh, God, uh, honey. Uh, how long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. The vault suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Shh. It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. See? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. Sean's acting up. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals, normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one.
Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis. Suspended. This is the one. Here. Open it. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Giant roaches? What the hell? Where is everyone? Is this all that's left?
Nice. Coming back later for you. Cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech.
as I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Codsworth. What happened to the world? The world, sir? Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. <laughs> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Uh-huh. Two hundred years? What? Are you... A, a bit over two hundred and ten, actually, sir. Oh, that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house and the car the car how do you polish rust stay with me pal focus uh, i'm afraid i don't know anything sir the bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry i thought for certain you and your family were dead i did find this hollow tape I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. <laughs> Picking up not this time. Ow! I was just getting warmed up. Codsworth. Mr. Nate, the missus, and young Sean, they aren't here. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, sir? Plenty of people there. And 
last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Hey. May I be of assistance? Um, hey, got a sec? Do you need something? Your thoughts? It is hard to determine whether the surface is more or less susceptible to outbreaks, but a preparation plan is never a bad idea. Didn't have anything else. As you say.
no, no, no. Little fingers away. There we go. Okay. Just say it. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Yay. <sighs> Listen. I don't think that Sean and I need to tell you how great of a father you are, but we're going to anyway. Isn't that right? You are kind and loving <laughs> and funny. That's right. And patient. So patient. Patience of a saint, my mom used to say. And everything we do, Sean, we are together. But even so, Say goodbye, I Jen. know our best days bye -bye. are yet to come. Say bye-bye. Come on. <laughs> bye, honey. We love you. Something nearby. Identity unknown. Default contact open. Your guns and vital signs are still within acceptable parameters. No more British occupation. Did you hear something? Man, I don't know who you are, but your timing's impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. God damn it. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Maybe? <sighs> nope. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. You really aren't from uh, around here, are you? Ghouls are... irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look Maybe. pretty messed up and live for a long time. <sighs> nope. But they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made God them feral. It. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Uh-huh. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. 
You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. Sure. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Careful, kid. Yes. There's something coming. And, and it's... it's angry.
Take it easy, Mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah, for a while anyway. We can at least move someplace. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did, and we owe you our lives. So here, it ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. I'll think about it. Before you leave, kid, a word about the journey you're about to start on. Cause I seen your destiny and I know your pain. Okay, I'm listening. You're a man out of time, out of hope, but all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly, but I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth, Diamond City. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold turn on, out hold any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh, okay. Come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. 
like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are Minutemen out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out with the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The Minutemen could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get.